insight is your ability to see something that the majority of the people do not see. When you become a leader, leadership gives you a higher perch. If you sit on a higher perch than the rest, and if you do not see any better than the others, then you will become an object of ridicule. So insight into what we are doing, being a leader is like being a captain of a ship. If you are the captain of the ship, you don't have to do the hard work that the crew is doing, but you must be able to chart out a successful path, you must be able to see everything that is there right now, and you must be able to foresee that which cannot be seen right now. There is no other institute like this that has twenty-one highly experienced resources for four full days. The other driving force has always been to live by the principles that you stand by. I'm truly honored to meet all of you, 200 plus people who are starting the revolution of creating lots of jobs. My journey, GMR Group journey, a small entrepreneur journey to a dream of building an organization to building the national assets. So how do you convince a family, can I take this away in a different company? And to me that was the biggest challenge. I am not able to get the sort of change that I need. So then started the journey. People, business, organization was my first challenge virtually on day one. From a professional learning standpoint, the three days that we have spent, when I look back, I think it will be one of the best programs I have ever attended in my life. How do you build a vision? How do you build a strategy? How do you strategize your vision? An exit strategy is more important than entry strategy. As a first generation entrepreneur, you know, your vision keeps evolving as you learn more. You have to always keep your mind open. Every entrepreneur does have foolish courage because that's how you start your business, thinking you can make a success despite all odds. Think big and think large. Never think small. And uh, I started building Kerala as a tourism destination, but I said I'll do everything which is an antithesis of the West. Success is where what you create and millions enjoy. See, success cannot be taught. You can only teach somebody a certain process of doing things. Success is a consequence. The successful people, the big names have been so accessible, available to us to talk about anything. I think that's remarkable. I don't think I could have got that anywhere else. The business context, there's an individual, personal context. Now there is a spiritual context. Entirely appropriate that uh, you know, a spiritual leader takes the lead as it were. If you want to run a business, whatever kind, essentially running an organization means in some way you're managing maybe a thousand minds or ten thousand minds. If you cannot even manage yours, how are you going to manage everybody else's? my first time here, I didn't even know that such a beautiful place existed. It's uh, absolutely uh, terrific, really amazing, unbelievable. Uh, I've been to many business seminars over the years and surely this is the best, best of all time.